What's going on people, it's the YouTube troll aka Papa Birdo, and I'm here to talk about the PC version for Revolution. It has finally been confirmed and I'm super hyped up. Now, I have two expectations for Cyberconnect 2 for the PC version. One, that they make sure the port works. And two, that the online works. Alright? Because when Full Burst came out guys for the PC, it was horrible. For those of you who don't know, you were not able to find a ranked lobby for some reason. You could not find a player match. You couldn't join a friend's match. And um, they did come out with a patch to fix that. But then what happened was that when you did find a match and you fought a few people or you played one match, in the middle of that specific fight, you will get disconnected from the servers. Okay? Then they came out with another patch. And it was okay, it was working for the people in Europe, but it wasn't for it wasn't working for most of the people that were here in America. Now, I'm hoping that they make sure to work out the kinks before release date. You know, make sure the net code is all set to go. Because the thing is, guys, when you get Naruto for the consoles, you guys know what you do, right? You put it on your console and you go online whenever the fuck you want. And I have never had a single server problem when it comes to naruto for the console ever like to the point where i can't find lobbies or i get kicked out of matches because the servers are fucked up no never so that's all i'm expecting for the pc version i'm expecting the same treatment because you know i'm mainly a console guy i'm not gonna lie i do play on my pc but i mainly play on my console and i, I would like to see the pc version be successful because they left a bad taste in people's mouth when they released Full Burst on the PC. And because of that, they probably lost a huge portion of the consumers that wanted to give um, the Ultimate Ninja Storm series a chance. Because that was like the first Storm game that ever made it to PC. And it was a bad impression. You, you never want to make a, a bad first impression. And that's essentially what CyberConnect 2 did. Of course, I don't blame it all on them. I blame it on the douchebags from America too that decided to buy European copies or, or Steam keys and decided to uh, over flood the servers on you know the EU side and stuff. But at the same time, I think CyberConnect 2, now that, they, that they've gone through that issue, I feel that they need to embrace themselves to make sure that doesn't happen again and you know possibly expand their audience and the consumers can be happy. All right, I want the game for PC and I'm gonna buy the collector's edition for PS3. That's what I really want to say about the PC version. That, that, that's it. That's my expectations. It's not a really long, it's not a super long video and it's not a super complex um, request to ask uh, of CyberConnect 2. That's all I really got to say, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Peace out.